Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map and I couldn't wait to actually get on video and show you this deck. It's Kathleen Dayo's Source Energy Art um, Collector's Tarot deck with original paintings by Kathleen. And I first saw this deck on Wasima's um, Ascension, Asc Ascension Waves channel. I will link the video below. You can see her review as well. And um, and then Kathleen co contacted me if I would like to show this deck um, on my channel. And I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it's interesting. I would love to. And then she sent it and I started using it. I've had it for a few weeks now. And I just didn't expect to like it that much, to be honest. And I think it's an amazing reader, especially for people who, really, who like to read intu intuitively. And um, I don't know, there's this feel to the cards that seems very um, gentle and creative and just feminine vibe, like this kind of openness of reading. And also there is a PDF booklet um, that you can download when you get the deck. And also it's really affordable. She sells it on Etsy. I will link it below. You can take a look. I think it's like less than $30 or something for the deck. And the cards are really big and nice paper. You know, it's, it's, it's really worth it. Um, but yeah, the tarot symbols... Um, in the booklet, the co it covers tarot symbols from psychological, mythological, cross-cultural perspective. It includes herbal, planetary references, gemstones, elements, symbolism and secret meanings. So I haven't really um, used the book too much yet, but I looked through it and it uh, seems quite um, interesting, you know, with all those associations. Even though I always wonder, like, well, like, how do we pick the gemstone for a card? And I don't know, I'm always a rebel like this. And I'm thinking, well, some gemstones, you know, a clear quartz can fit every card. Or, you know, black tourmaline can fit a tower one day and then maybe two of coins the other day when you need a little bit more grounding or something. I don't know. So um, I'm still, you know, I'm a, I'm a skeptic like this. But it's an interesting idea, definitely. So it comes in this box. It's just a regular... Um, paper box and as I said the cards are big they my hand big kind of feel let me just grab maybe a deck to compare so this would be a traditional tarot card this is the source energy art tarot so you know if you're not into big decks this is not going to be a deck for you and um, what else is interesting in this these are the bags really gorgeous beautiful bags I kind of I don't know have this feel of um, mandala to them and there's 78 cards so I'm going to show you all the cards and just speak briefly about my um, you know impressions not of the cards themselves but just impressions of the deck um, so it follows Rider with Smith pretty closely, and as I said, they had original paintings, art paintings. And I don't know, there's just something when you put those cards together, and because they're so big, you, you can really get into a picture. I find this deck to be great deck to for energetic readings as well, but for intuitive readings, as I said, and also for, you know, like going into the picture, like you can really imagine the scene, how beautiful for Ten of Cups, you know, the satisfaction, this orb of energy that it's like expansive, the sense of floating, going with the flow, with your friends, you know, it's kind of like this helps you to really feel the archetype. Again, some of the artwork I like less than other cards, like this, for example, Knight of Swords, maybe it's not my favorite, but you have so much to draw upon, like your intuition can really um, space out, you know, and go for it, an interesting page of swords, but in the readings, it's quite interesting how sometimes, you know, you have this open, curious mind, but you also have some doubts, maybe, or something that like, you know, or people who is like, me, 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 you can't do it, blah, 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 blah. That's he's like chasing those dogs away. The world card is one of my favorite world cards ever. I just love the feel of it. This regal kind of crossing over that um, holistic 
<coughs> oh, I'm sorry, that holistic approach, you know, all the elements, it's just that kind of, it's alive. Wheel of Fortune, very interesting take on Wheel of Fortune with all those kind of, also like connecting the dots together, Justice, quite happy Justice actually, Eight of Swords, so as you can see very um, Rider with Smith, Five of Rods, I don't know, to me it's such an interesting also cut for ancestral work of all those different voices within our psyche as well that you know um, Knight of Rods, <laughs> the little piglets Seven of Swords I think this is my least favorite cut from the deck also because it feels like you know like it's kind of just a large part of some other art it just doesn't go so well with the other cards I feel but you know there's always the one card right but this is definitely my least favorite card and it's not so sharp as the other ones as well um so yeah I I would change this one <laughs> and the Emperor but you've got everything the Aries the red I like his kind of um soulful face eight of cups so again some of them are not so sharp so i'm going to put those two aside because they have a similar feel i don't know i do prefer the eight of cups to the seven of swords but sharpness wise um and in general uh, to be honest when it comes to technical side for some people that might be a big no-no i totally don't care anymore but if i was you know I don't want to guys call you anal, but <laughs> if I, you know, you can see how the frames and artwork is positioned, um, but it's not because it's um, kind of skewed. Some of the artwork is smaller, some of the artwork uh, is bigger, so they're not equal. So if somebody is very, um, you know, particular about that, you might be annoyed by it, but... I totally, totally don't care and you actually cannot really trim this deck because the artwork will be different, they different sizes and um, so you know, just bear it in mind and um, so this is Nine of Pentacles, I so love it, this other world coming through as well from behind, this is Eight of Pentacles and look how easy it feels Want, like you want to read this deck this is nine of swords the sun so again difference in the art interesting three of cups very kind of watery like bottom of the ocean kind of type six of cups the colors are very cool too it's not too bright like uh, it has the sense of painting and care that went into the paintings eight of roads the empress i love the empress i had such an amazing reading with this empress and with mysteries of mary tarot deck four of roads so it's very wedding high priestess i love her she's kind of sharp and then the background is not sharp so i feel like it does you know the background plays a role of the veil um, it's quite interesting to have this kind of head juxtaposition in the foreground and then this background was like oh I'm hiding some secrets here you can't you know you have to go through her to see the sharpness of me right now I'm blurry <laughs> um, temperance very colorful nine of cups that could be a cool deck for beginners maybe not if you want to learn tradition with tarot i would always start with a traditional deck but i always would start with a traditional deck and a deck i really love as well that you know i i use this card also in readings for clients and it's interesting how this is an intuitive reader this deck you kind of go with the you know the tarot um, notion and the archetypes of Tara, what the seven pentacle means, but also you read what you see, you know, what you see on the picture. So this is the chariot, page of cups, <laughs> it's a little, little donkey, it's the devil, 
seven of Rods, Knight of Pentacles. So all the knights are on horses, very traditional. I love this Ten of Swords with that kind of unicorn or a horse or a soul being kind of like, you know, transformed. And in general, you can even read the clouds. It looks a bit like a skull or a dog beautiful three of swords right there with smith style the hermit four of swords queen of swords three of rods beautiful two of cups it's a really great reader and you will recognize all of the cards it's not you know the hangman kind of follows right there with Smith fairly fairly closely six of swords and the fool okay for people who don't like clowns <laughs> they won't like this fool and I was my first impression was like oh the clown and the fool I don't know but look at the face of this clown I don't know there's this childlikeness and this hopefulness and that kind of trust and this openness and this kind of wonder like oh my god should i got this excitement so i don't know i kind of i swear guys I, I started liking everything about this deck even the clown look at the colors of the king of swords and <laughs> this funny baby but he is like you know it's like the positive side of the king of swords two of pentacles that reminds me of spoliatar but a bit different style page of pentacles six of pentacles three of pentacles ten of rods two of swords ace of pentacles beautiful death it's an interesting one the moon oh, that is like oh i love the feel of that moon the magician five of cups nine of rods so you have this guy with the nine wands and this kind of open space and he's like squashed i love this interpretation it just helps to interpret the nine of rods interesting judgment too like the your soul is being thrown into the world or helpful by angels so like you know speaking with the guides or spirit i love this ten of pentacles with the cow like the great goddess overlooking i love her too the queen of pentacles king of cups <laughs> shit can happen around him but he's you know in his emotional center four of pentacles the colors of this deck are stunning the star i love the artwork too the knight of cups i feel i would prefer her to maybe pick different knights but because it's rider with me if you kind of use those knights <laughs> but maybe i would prefer to have you know not those traditional knights just have them expressed a little bit differently the strength ace of swords there's a lot of spirit animals or animals in general that you can kind of use in readings i love her she's like what the fuck i don't care people <laughs> so this is really cool this is king of pentacles and we have ace of rods this freedom Seven of Cups, <laughs> lovely. Five of Swords, and King of Rods. Beautiful lovers. I just love the presence of this angelic being here, kind of like a blessing. Four of Cups and Two of Rods. So this is the deck. And I can shuffle it, you know, I've got quite big hands, or I don't know, I feel like I have normal size hands, I, I can shuffle it lengthwise. It takes, it, you know, it's a bulk of cards, so it takes maybe some getting used to, and I'm kind of throwing these cards because they, they're quite big. 
you can um, like not very well but you can kind of go you know like shuffle them a little bit like this but it won't be a very good shuffle and you can always shuffle them like this so if we pull a few cards together just to show you how how they look so you can see the difference in the artwork and in the frame so again if this is for someone an issue pay attention to this because it might annoy you I totally got over it I just don't really care um, but you cannot trim those borders because it's not just about the borders the artwork is in different sizes but again I couldn't care less because I love this deck so much and I love the colors and I love just how it reads I think that was um, the biggest surprise for me how well this deck reads and how um, emotionally you connect to these cards it's the emotional connection that makes you kind of go wow and gives you this I don't know deep intuitive readings and I'm still going to practice even more but I want to do a lot of storytelling with this deck and follow my intuition even more than um, tarot meanings themselves this deck suits itself very well for this and yeah it's really cool as an intuitive reader so this was the source energy art tarot by Kathleen Deo let me know what you think I'm curious because I can see that it can be you know a great deck for some people and um, whatever deck for others but to me this is a definite yes and a definite great reader and a definite surprise that I haven't even expected to be so in love with um, and it turns out it's one of the nicest decks I've had for a while so yeah let me know what your thoughts are and take a look at Kathleen's work bye thanks for watching